I was just going to talk to you about balance and stability, and in particular, dynamic balance. So we've read through this stuff before, but being balanced and stable will enable you to perform your skill with correct technique. This helps you to improve your performance. Dynamic balance is the ability of an object to balance while in motion or switching between positions. Okay, so these are three common terms that we know. Okay, and there's our little man here. So these guys are stationary, okay, and that's the difference between your normal balance and stability and what we're going to talk about now. So yeah, the dynamic balance is about being balanced through movement, okay, and it's also about promoting and creating force um, or being more stable um, while other things are happening to you. Okay, so as you can see here, a young man is chilling out with a hit shield, okay, obviously getting ready for rugby. You can see that he is, oh, I guess my little pencil out here, okay, you can see that he has his line of gravity, um, and this is towards the front of his base of support, okay. So he could lean forward even more, okay, so he could bring it all the way down to here, okay, and then he will be more stable because at some point someone is going to come running in from this direction, okay, and they're going to hit him. All right. So when they hit him, the closer his line of gravity is to the front of his base of support, okay, then the more stable he is going to be when this person hits him. It means that he has all of this distance here okay, to move his line of gravity back so that it will still remain within his base of support. Okay. Alternatively, if his center of gravity was back here okay, and then someone hit him from that angle, Okay, then almost immediately his line of gravity would be falling outside of his base of support, all right, and he would fall over, yeah. We go, use a different color. Okay, so that is why we should lean forward when we are being hit, okay. That is why we should step into something that is coming towards us so that our line of gravity can remain in our base of support for longer so that we can actually hopefully um, remain stable for longer. Okay. All right, so if we were to look at our friend here, okay, you can see that this person is promoting force by moving, again, his line of gravity from the back. Okay, He's, his line of gravity is down here. We need to move all this stuff here. You can see that his line of gravity is um, towards the back here of, of his back leg, okay, so we're talking about down here. So as he moves back in his golf swing, his line of gravity will continue to move back, okay, to the back of his base of support. So he will still remain balanced. Then as he moves his weight or transfers his weight here in image two, you can see that it is moved forward, okay, and in doing so, he is creating force, All right? He's still really balanced. All right, but he is rotating, his, his momentum is coming from the back foot, okay, and then he is moving it forward. Again, you see in the third image, it has moved forward again, okay, so he is promoting and creating even more momentum or more force. And then finally, okay, in the last image here, you can see that his line of gravity is towards the front of his base of support. Okay, and boom, he's hit the ball. Okay, he's still balanced, it is still well within that base of support. And he has created force merely by rocking from his back foot, okay, forward to his front foot. We see this all the time in games like netball and basketball, okay, you move forward, you start on your back foot and you move your line of gravity forward and you step forward. And doing that, again, creates more force because you're moving that line of gravity from the back of your base of stability to <laughs> your back of your base of stability forward to the front of your, um, of your sorry, base of support. Okay, we've got to clear the screen. All right, so we're going to have a look at this wee video. And this video is of Motu Matu. He is a rugby union player for the Hurricanes. And, and a couple of years ago, he did a couple of really big hits in this one game. So this one here, you can see that he's hit this gentleman, Mr. Gerard. Okay, and he's hit him with a fair bit of force. All right, he's gotten nice and low. He's lowered his center of gravity. Okay, and he's obviously injured him. And then this is a second point of contact, and he made this tackle just a few seconds after that first one, and he's left that gentleman down on the ground in a pretty bad way. Okay, so if we were to just go back and, and have another look at those hits, particularly the second one, 
we'll have another little look at it. Uh, what's interesting here is as play goes on, you'll see that the kick goes down to this guy. He's the guy that he actually tackled first. He kicks it out, and he's actually broken his sternum. So he goes down, and then here's the other guy who's also down on the ground. So they're both down because of Motu Matu's tackle technique. Okay, so you'll see here in a second, and we'll just go through nice and slowly in the replays. Okay, so it's not the best. Okay, you can see it's not the best footage currently. Um, it's a bit blurry, but um, he started with his weight back, so his base of support. Okay, was back here. All right, and Motu started with his line of gravity. Okay, back here with his base of support, and then he moved it forward to gain momentum. Okay, and. He was balanced that entire time. Okay, in actual fact, if this gentleman wasn't here, then Motu would obviously fall over on his face and he'd fall over. So it's about being um, being balanced to the point where um, he's creating enough force to be able to make that tackle and make a really strong tackle as well. All right. So he's created that force from a standing um, position. You don't actually have to be sprinting in to make a big hit on anyone. He's made that from a standing still position. Okay. So if we play on, okay, you see it again. And this angle is probably the best one. You can see him here. Look at that body position. Knees bent. Okay, nice low center of gravity. Nice wide base of support. Okay. You can see that he's back and he's about to start moving forward to create that momentum. And what happens? Well, bam. Take that. A, B, see you later. And then he goes and he helps them up. He, he um, puts them in the recovery position. What a gentleman. So hopefully that's a bit of an understanding in how dynamic um, balance works, dynamic stability works. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, come and uh, hit me up or, or your teacher, if it's not me who is teaching you. Um, yeah, go and hit them up. And hopefully that um, you can incorporate some of that into whatever sport you apply. Thanks, guys. See you.